All right, so I'm on the main front part of this house here. You can see this big gigantic wall with two huge picture windows. And I have this 28 foot old true four by six beam, 28 feet long that needs to be replaced, which is what I'm working on today. A lot of termite damage. This thing's really rotten. Sagging, ready to cave in. So this needs to be changed out. What I need to do is slip a, another 20 foot long temporary beam under here under these joists so I can jack this floor up take the weight off of this beam and these posts and replace everything now I'm here by myself I need to figure out a way to get that temporary beam up under here held up okay so this is what I came up with my temporary girder beam is five and a half inches tall so I measured down six and a half inches here took my two foot level on that mark made a level line across measured and cut me a little ledger that my temporary four by six girder will sit on i need to make three more going down that way so i'll have a total of four holding up this temporary girder beam while i get this wall jacked up so my thinking was to cut these little rectangular notches all along here through the siding through the siding through the rim joist and take my new joist my new two by six slide it in through that pocket all the way through but I don't know how bad the rim joist is as far as termite damage behind this siding so I chalked a line here and I'm gonna just cut the siding off at that line which is just below the flooring and that'll allow me to remove their old rim joist slide all my new joists in and then put a new rim joist on as well as a new beam that I need to put in all right, so I'm ready to send this temporary beam through. Sit on my bracing that I had put in earlier. Let's see if she fits. She's almost there. Okay, so this is what things look like with the girder beam exposed. This is what it looks like with the rim joist exposed and the siding cut away. Right to the level of the bottom of the floorboards. So I'm gonna start removing this girder beam. This section got chomped on. This stuff is pure kindling, man. This would catch on fire so easy. I got the bottle jacks, bottle jack, temporary girder, and the other one down there, 20 foot, four by six. So this 14 foot section I've cleaned out, ready to slip my joists in. And I'm doing 14 feet at a time because I have a uh, permanent beam here that's 14 feet long, and I'll be installing two of these with a butt joint right there. Okay, so I got the first joist in and it is back an inch and a half from the back side of my siding so my rim joist will go on and the outside of my rim joist will be flush with the back side of my siding which is perfect okay 14 foot beam is in rim joist on top 16 foot joist underneath under the flooring I got half of this wall done now we're on to the next section I'm gonna install another 14 foot 4x8 on top of 4x4 four four posts with a 2x6 rim joist and 16 foot 2x6 joists running in under the house, under the flooring. What I have to do now is remove the old nails that are holding the rim joist on and we'll try and get this taken apart and put the new wood in.
And that's termite damage for you folks. Look at that. All right, we got all the old wood torn out. We'll just detail this up, get ready for the new joist, rim joist, girder beam, and posts. Crowning our joists real quick. I just marked them with a little crayon like this. So I make a little relief cut here on the end of these two by sixes. And when I slide the joists in, they don't get caught up on the floorboards or on the beam. And I'm left with these good shims. Big brain. Perfect inch and a half. Joists are in. Now I go along and mark for my nails when I install the rim. knee braces for these beams and posts what I want to do is get a vertical number say roughly 26 inches I already made a mark there so I need to measure 26 inches down 26 inches across and find that diagonal number long point to long point so I got the construction master 5 and how I can do this quickly is just type in 26 inch rise 26 inch run Hit diagonal, my long point to long point is 36 and three quarter inches. So 36 and three quarter inch, long point to long point, 36 and three quarter. I already have a 45 degree cut on that from my previous brace. priming all my 45 degree bevels before I nail these on to the posts on the beam. And just nail it on. Line up your angles. Okay, due to some time constraints, I had to just go ahead and wrap this up. I couldn't really film too much of what I was doing, but I just want to come through here and show you guys what the finished product looks like. Uh, girder beam, rim joist, joist, post, bracing, all primered, all brand new. This is the 28 foot run that was swapped out. Joist running under 16 feet down, spanning two more beams under the house. coming around the corner of the house. The box out of the kitchen has all been replaced as well. And that's it for now.